Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Meredith from West Red Lake Gold. How are you today, Tom? I'm good, thanks, Tracy. How about you? Well, congratulations. You've just uh, put out gold drill results, and I thought they were remarkable. Uh, let's start there. Well, what the results mean is that we do have high-grade gold on the property. We That is near surface, those results, uh, which are, we do have a, a a million ounce, over a million ounce, 43101 resource in that area. And we're looking at high grade near surface uh, material that could be useful in the future for open open pit or bulk sampling. And so that's why we drilled those shallow holes. And we also have some surface channel surface surface sampling coming in the future as well. Okay. So just, I, I just want to drill down on those answers here real quick. Um, now you did some, you know, uh, it's my understanding you did some near the surface for bulk sample testing and you just touched on that and the benefits of why that's advantageous. But can you tell us a little bit more about those results, please? And how competitive they actually are for the investor out there going, hey, why should I buy West Red Lake Gold instead of another exploration company? Well, there's, a, there's two or three reasons why West Red Lake Gold has some important features. One is that we have high high grade gold. Uh, two, it's near surface, and we have some at surface results coming in the next month sometime. And then uh, we're in Red Lake, which is a great mine jurisdiction with four gold mills operating in the area. So you know this is this this is material that's high grade that we can get into a gold mill. Uh, so in terms of being able to mine something right at surface or right near surface and get it into a mill in a good mining jurisdiction that's high grade, that's a pretty good story. And finally, um, we are relatively speaking, uh, a resource per ounce, we're inexpensive. Uh, resource per ounce value can go much, much higher in the market when conditions improve significantly. So what's happening right now as you race towards I'm assuming increasing the resource in general towards being acquired. Is that where you're working right now? Well, we're, we're, we're developing the property in such a way as a, to make it more attractive for a mining company to acquire it so they can put it into production. That's what mining companies do. They, they, they produce gold by mining it, but somebody has to get the project ready in the first place through exploration work, which is what we're doing. So what we, you know, our goal is to make it us very attractive so that we get acquired at a good price and make a good return for our shareholders as the market improves and as we improve the value of the property. So Tom, basically what's happening right now is gold price, the gold price is, is high, but I'm assuming you're waiting for the gold price to be higher. And during this time period, you're building up every attractive feature of West Red Lake Gold as humanly possible. Is that currently the strategy? The strategy is to build up the value of the property through the exploration work that we're doing while uh, we're waiting for the value of resources in the ground to improve, which we believe they can improve very significantly from where they are now. Of course, as a resource expert, we often reach to you to talk to you about, hey, what's happening with the gold market? So I think this is a good place for me to say, Tom, what's going on with the gold market? I mean, you know, it, we've seen gold prices shoot up, but it hasn't correlated with the exploration companies yet. That's true. The capital flows are not coming into the gold space at the moment. They're going into other places. Uh, junior resource companies, in terms of the value of an ounce in the ground right now, they're very low. I mean, even Barrett Gold, which is a producer, was trading at $41 a year ago, and now it's trading at about $22 or $23, even, even though we have a high gold price environment. So it's all about capital flows. And when capital flows come in, the juniors receive those capital flows and their resources in the ground get greatly revalued. And so you see significant appreciation in, in the values of companies when the money comes. When's the money going to come? We thought it might be coming by now because we can see inflation coming into the system. We think all the ingredients are there for inflation to continue to come in. And I think eventually 
money is going to come our way and then it will be a much better day for gold and particularly gold mining stock investors. Well, we're definitely supporters of West Red Lake Gold. And Tom, thank you so much for your update today. I appreciate it. And please uh, keep us updated. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.